Cult of personality Like Mussolini And Kennedy I'm the cult of personality to, But is it great to be alive In South Florida on a Monday night or what? It's Joe Hendry I see him Before we get started I just want to say Congratulations to your Florida Panthers on winning the Stanley Cup Championship. I know Roberto Luongo's in the house. It's good to see him. And how do I look? My hair look okay? These bags under my eyes are getting a little bigger, right? Let him have it. Come on. <laughs> wow. carried away. I didn't get a whole lot of sleep last night because I have very exciting news that I lie awake in bed at night staring at the ceiling excited to come here and share this news with you. But before we get to the news, before we get down to business, can I tell you a story? Yay! They all would have derailed this entire thing if you said no, so I appreciate you. Thank you very much. This weekend, I spent some time in New York City at a little event called Fanatics Fest. Somebody in the green room in between signing and taking pictures of a lot of you lovely fans, they asked me about this hot streak WWE is on right now, selling out buildings all over the world. Yep. And they asked me, why do you, CM Punk, think you're on such a hot streak? The answer is easy. It's you. Oh. You on a hot streak? It's you. It's you animals up in the 300 level. But they up there. We out here, baby. Discount was so you freaks right here. Live and in living color. In living color. A lot of great fans. First person in line. For pictures that day was this nice young lady and she was in a wheelchair and she wheeled herself in and she got up out of the wheelchair and she walked up to me and she told me with tears in her eyes that she just defeated cancer. Yes! Shout out to her. And that somehow little old me was a source of strength for her during her battle and it makes me think of my friend Chad Gilbert or Lou Kohler from sick of it all, both currently fighting cancer of their own. And then I met a young lady from Taiwan, said she flew 15 hours just to take a picture with me. 15 hours just for maybe wow. 15 seconds with CM Punk. Wow. And then there was a young gentleman who had a sign that said, I traveled 5,785 miles from Jordan just to see CM Punk. That means something to me. It means something to every single person in the back. But it really means something to me because I missed you guys for 10 years. So I'm excited to come here to Florida for the first time in a very long time to share with you some news. No, man. Here we go. I can listen to him talk all day. There's fans like you that drive me. It's fans like you that take the time. Yeah, I'll take it. I'll take it. Why are we on such a hot streak? It's because of the love. It's because when fans hand me bracelets that they took the time to make, maybe insignificant to other people, maybe a Taylor Swift thing, but let's face it, I'm Taylor Swift for men. <laughs> Well, yeah. And bracelets like these, made by fans like you, sharing the love, is exactly like a bracelet that Drew McIntyre took off my unconscious body when he jumped me in my hometown of Chicago, Illinois. Oh. But at least you shake it up. You shake it up. So we talked about the love. Let's talk about the hate now. The flip side to the coin. Drew McIntyre. Uh. Well, Drew says he hates me. 
wants nothing to do with me. Got the victory at SummerSlam and wants to wash his hands and walk away. But he made it personal. Drew says he hates me, I think. He loves me, but I know he's obsessed with me. Wants to stay connected to me. Wears a bracelet with my beautiful wife's name on it. AJ, AJ, AJ. I miss her. I, I, I hope to see her again on TV one day. To the news I have to share. You guys want to hear the news? What's the news? My biggest hater is my biggest fan. So I went ahead and I made Drew a bracelet. Ooh. And I talked to Adam Pierce. And unless Drew's chicken, Saturday, August 31st, Berlin, Germany, bash at Berlin. Strap match. And for the uninitiated, that means I will be tethered to Drew like he wants so bad to be attached to me wrist to wrist and you have to carry your opponent's carcass to all four corners and touch each turnbuckle to win but that's not why I want a strap match I want a strap match so I can whip this bitch yeah. and I can take my bracelet back that's what I used to say when I played Midnight Club 3 with lasting scars which he will never Forget the name C M Punk. Oh, so I can do it. I wish I didn't do it earlier. And one more time for the road. While McIntyre is the one scared me. I'm going to fight you. You think I'm gonna miss the opportunity to whip you like a dog. <laughs> like a dog in the street. I'd do it for free. Oh man, he's got he's got a microphone. Oh man. That's a cold jacket, by the way. I've been thinking all week about what I'm going to do to you. Last week you embarrassed me. You whipped me like a petulant child. And I've been having all these fantasies of the violence that I'm going to bring upon you. And you challenged me to a strap match. Yeah, you got the strap. I have a question. I'm 100% serious right now. Have you started drinking? <laughs> Have you seen me? A strap match. I accept. Oh, oh wow, that was easy. Under one condition. Yes, next week, I can't wait a whole week. I need a receipt for what happened to me last week for the oh, stars no. on my back. So for Lord W, you want a little teaser of McIntyre and Punk right now? Oh no. You lose that strap, and let's give them a show. Lose the strap. We gave him a teaser last week. I say we gave him the full motion picture this week. Oh, oh I'll tell you what, Drew. Because I ain't afraid of you. I will give you this strap. Ooh. You give me the bracelet. Good negotiation. Is he gonna do it? Is it gonna be Drew? Is he gonna give that bracelet back, Cole? No. <laughs> yeah. Last week you lied so you can attack me from behind. You're a hypocrite. I give you the bracelet, try to get in that ring. You'll whip me like a dog. Not a chance. And besides, April and Larry are much safer and happier at home with Drew McIntyre.
I had a joke, but I'm not going to say nothing. Unlike it is funny, Lynn, but... Who won't be safe because it's not me that's attached to you. It's you that's attached to me. Ooh. Oh, I can't wait to see this match. Take my money! Take my money! 